this week on Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use bins in Tableau and what they do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drag profit onto our rows. We're then going to make it two dimension and discrete. So you can see all of our individual uh, profits down the left hand side. Now if you scroll, what I want to be able to do with binning is I want to be able to um, bin these groups so that they're in buckets of let's say 10 to 15 or 100 to 200 depending on the size that we do. Now to do a bin, if you right click on a bit, on a on a measure, go to create bins. Now what this is saying is this is suggesting a value of our size of the bins. You can also use a parameter in here so you can set you can get your audience to set the size of the bin that you want. Now I'm going to put this to 500. Um, the minimum value is the minimum value in your range of profit. Maximum is the maximum value in your profit range. The difference between the two and the number of distinct profit values in there. I'm just going to show you what this does on the original profit bin automatically created by Tableau. So if I clear the sheet, drag that into columns and then option drag or right click and drag order ID to rows and hit count distinctive order. Now for the, if I show you the settings on this one, you can see that uh, the profit bin size is calculated by the parameter. So if I show you this parameter here, it's a bin size of 200. I can reduce that to 150, but I'm going to keep it at 200. So you can see here that we have all of our numbers. So if I click show mark label, you can see that there is um, all of these numbers in here. But what happens between 2600 and 3000? Where's 2800? Do we have any data? Is that grouped? But what we can do is if we click the little drop down and hit show missing values and hit entire view, you'll be able to see that we actually have all of that data in there. So I'm just going to put it back to standard. So you can see Tableau automatically buckets everything, even though there is zero data in there. So if I, um, so this allows you to look at your data in a different way with bins. Bins are used to date, Identify your data to show people what's not in your data set. That's all for this week. Thank you.